Hey guys, it's Brad Flynn here. Now, if you've ever wanted your staff to understand what happens with your profit and loss statement, this video is for you. They see all the money coming in all the time, but they don't see the money going out. In this video, I'm gonna give you a way to show them how to understand it and start to get a better response when they think about the numbers in your business. So here's one of the dilemmas for us as business owners is how do we help our team members understand some of the costs that's involved in running a business? Now, naturally, you don't want to share all your private figures with them, although it depends on your business. Some business owners like to. So I'm going to show you a different way of helping team members and staff understand how a profit and loss statement works and the implications for them. A lot of staff members that I've worked with over the years are all for profit sharing. They think, great, they're going to make a bunch of money, we're going to share in the profit. But my first question to them is, look, we're all for profit sharing, but are you open to sharing losses as well? Because sometimes businesses actually lose money, which means you're going to have to tip money in, which usually they start to run away the other way. So let's maybe not talk about that today. So go back to our basics, our basic PL that I've done in all my videos. We've got a business with $500,000 our cost of goods or the variable cost, the cost we get because we get a sale, so it might be a subcontractor, it might be uh, some of the products and services, in this instance is 250,000. 500 minus 250 gives us a gross profit for our business of 250,000, which is what we'll use to run the rest of the business with. Our fixed expenses or our operating expenses here are 200,000. So 250 minus 200,000 gives us this business with a profit of $50,000. Now watch this. Let's imagine our business, and this is how we're going to explain it to our team members, is like a glass of water that we're going to drink from. We tip in all of our sales up to here. So in this instance, this would represent 100% of our income. Now, we start to have to drink, or other people actually come in and drink from our cup. So our suppliers or our subcontractors they come in first, and in this instance, they're going to drink 50% of our sales revenue. So they're going to get a straw, and they're going to start to drink it down to about halfway through where the glass is. So in this instance, they're going to go right down to half of the glass, which is where our gross profit mark is. Okay, so that's our first part that we can explain to the employees because what they see is the money going out uh, sorry the money coming in but not the money going out our next thing here is our operating expenses so their wages is one thing we've got to pay rent we've got to pay phone we've got to pay electricity part of this is we actually have to pay tax on their wages as well so in this instance here we're now going to go down from our 50%, so our operating expense is gonna come in with the straw, all the team members, they're gonna have their little slurp of the drink, all the wrench and everything, and we're now gonna take our drink line for our business owner down to our profit mark, which is gonna be $50,000, which is 10%. You know, a tenth of this glass, and even this is probably being a little bit generous. So this is our profit down here now. 10%, not much really when you're the business owner, to get a straw in there and get some, some, some liquid out of that, you're gonna to have to probably tip it up on its edge and slurp it out. But then we've got another thing to think about. There's the government who's putting their hand out because we pay tax on profit in our business. Now most businesses, depending on where they're at, but in this instance, we're gonna assume they're gonna pay tax of 30%, all right? So now we're going to take a third off of this mark here for tax. So we're going to be left with this tiny little bit down the bottom that the operator is going to get to drink. So it's not much. So in fact, it's about 37,000. We're going to pay about 15 grand if it's a 30% tax. Yet the business owner has all the liabilities, all the responsibilities, all the challenges, all the headaches and everything that comes with the business, in this instance, to sometimes get a tiny little slurp of drink for the business. So hopefully this is gonna help team members understand really what's going on. Sure, they see the money coming in, but they don't see the money going out. Give the video down below a like, uh, any comments you've got, feedback, would love to have them. And uh, hopefully this helps you understanding and explaining to your team members how money works in your business.